What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Hack the Box Lab Walkthrough Series for the Starting Point Machines. Today, we're going to be tackling the machine Fawn. Uh, Fawn is going to be a exploitation of the FTP service, and I'll show you a little bit more about what that means in a minute. Uh, but what we'll go ahead and do, uh, just like we did last time, we're going to get this open VPN uh, connection going. So go ahead and download this if you haven't already. Um, I already have. So we will come over, launch a terminal. I'll uh, we'll make this bigger. Uh, we're going to do sudo open VPN. If you're running the newest version of Kali, you can just completely auto complete this if you've already typed it in before. Um, hit enter uh, your password. We'll have our initialization complete. That means that it is connected up. Uh, then we just got to wait for it to connect on the hack the box side. Again, this will take a few minutes, so I will be back with you guys in one second once this connects. And okay, looks like we are connected to the starting point VPN network. Uh, so the next step that we need to do is we need to spawn the machine. This will create the target instance for us. And uh, once again, this is going to take uh, up to a few minutes, so I will be back again with you guys once this, go once this goes ahead and uh, has our machine spun up for us. All right, what's going on, guys? So it looks like our target machine has been spun up. Uh, that'll be the IP address of the machine that we are going to be attacking uh, for this lab. Uh, let's go ahead and take a stab at some of these initial questions here. So the first one is asking, what does the three letter acronym FTP stands for? So that is, FTP is a service um, and it is called the File Transfer Protocol. Um, it's basically used to, uh, does exactly what it says it does. It uh, moves files between uh, remote machines. So it transfers files between machines. So the communication model that FTP uses, this is going to be the client server, if I can type, model. I'm not sure if these need to be capitalized or not, but I'm going to be doing it uh, just, just for safe measure. So the client server model um, is you typically have uh, one remote host and then one machine acting as a server. Um, and then they communicate between the two uh, in a synchronous fashion. So this is the name of a popular uh, GUI for the F for FTP uh, service. Um, what we could do uh, just to show you guys, I, I know what this is. This is going to be FileZilla, um, if you're familiar with it at all. Um, but if you just do GUI... FTP service, it should come up. Yeah, so FileZilla is going to be the first one that comes up that's not an ad. Um, so you could find that. Um, it's a pot, It's just a, a GUI that sits over top of um, using FTP the same way you would from the command line. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier. Task four is which port is the FTP service on usually? So that is going to be 21 TCP. Uh, it's important that you specify TCP there um, because there is a difference between TCP and UDP ports. You can have the same port open um, uh, for the different uh, architectures there. TCP is kind of a uh, connection that is going to make sure that uh, the packets get where they're going. Um, and that's important for things like file transfers where you need every bit of data um, to be ensured that it was delivered. Whereas UDP, um, that's the other side, that's kind of the flip side of the coin, uh, is more of a fire hose of data being shot at the target. So that's useful for things like video streaming where it's really difficult to send all that data through and ensure that it is um, it's getting delivered in the right order. Task five is what acronym is used for the secure version of FTP. Uh, and this is very easy. That's just SFTP and that just stands for secure FTP. So FTP operates in clear text. SFTP would be encrypted. And for task six, what is the command we can use to test our connection to the target? So you guys might remember this from the last one, but this is going to be ping. 
Um, and if we go back over, we should check that we can ping our target. So we'll grab this, come back over to our virtual machine. We will spin up another terminal, make this a little bit bigger. We're going to ping C3 and then paste our target IP address. So it looks like we got three pulse checks there from our target. So that is communicating all and well. So we can ping it. Um, now it's asking from our scans what version is what version of FTP is running on the target. So we will come back over and we're going to use that same Nmap tool that we used before. Um, and it's asking specifically for version information. So if you remember, we're going to use lowercase s capital V to grab the version information. I'm going to use lowercase s capital C. Uh, to run some standard scripts to enumerate the versions that are running on there, maybe get a little bit extra data. Um, and then I'm going to use dash V to get a more verbose output as we do this. And then I'm going to paste the IP address here and then I will hit enter. Uh, this might take a few minutes, so I will be back with you guys once the scan completes. Okay, welcome back guys. So the scan completed, uh, it actually only took four seconds. So. <laughs> Not as long as I thought, um, but what we can see here is what we we need to be looking at the open port that was found. So if we see here, uh, port 21 TCP is going to be the FTP service, uh, and then this is the version information that we were looking for. So it is running VSFTPD uh, version 3.03. .03. So let's go ahead and take that. We'll come back over to hack the box and paste it in here. And that should be good. Let's come back over and see if we can find if our scripts found what operating system is running on the target. So um, if we come down, service information, operating system is Unix. So we can come back and find and type Unix. If the scan did not find what operating system we were looking for, um, there is another scan that you can run, and that would look like you type the Nmap the same. You'd use capital O. Capital O is going to run a bunch of different scripts to try to figure out which operating system the target is. Um, we kind of already knew it was going to be a Linux machine. Um, however, we didn't know specifically what Linux machine. Uh, it looked like our uh, by using the scripts flag it did find what operating system sometimes it'll say it's unsure and then you can try to use that same nmap uh, dash capital o if you're running into some trouble there and it should be able to find it so now it wants the flag so now we're up to getting into the box and the only uh, avenue that we have to attack this box is ftp uh, and one thing that i found that's very important to note for really all hack the box machines is that the devil is usually in the details. Uh, in this case, there's not a lot of details to dig through, uh, but one thing that it notes right here is that FTP anonymous login is allowed, uh, and that's gonna be FTP code 230. So I'll show you what that looks like. You would connect to a machine via FTP the same way that we use Telnet. It's just going to be FTP followed by, oops, I need to re-grab the IP address, but it's just FTP followed by the target IP address. Um, however, most of FTP implementations are locked down with some username and password. But by default, uh, one thing that is allowed is anonymous login. So what you can do as you can type the username anonymous after you FTP to the machine, it tries to connect. That's going to be the username. And then you just hit enter for a blank password. And that is the anonymous login that was allowed. So now we're allowed on to the machine. We have an FTP shell here. Uh, you can interact with this very similarly to how you would with a normal shell, except for there's a couple caveats. Uh, one thing that we can do is use LS to list the files. Um, and what we see here is that we have read and write access to this called flag, this file called flag, which is exactly what we want. And we can't cat it. We actually just want to use the command get since it's a file transfer service. 
we're going to get flag.text. And then it succeeded there, so you got to wait a second. Um, we will exit out of this. One thing to note, so whatever directory that you launch the FTP service in, so right now I'm in my home folder, which is denoted by this tilde, um, and I launched this FTP service there. Uh, that is where the file that you use the git command on is going to transfer to by default. So now if I ls in my home directory, we can see that my the flag.txt file is right there. So we'll just cat flag.txt and we will grab that. Oops. And we will submit this root flag. So this, once again, was a little bit of an easier machine. Um, once we submit this, we should, yep. Okay, so we pwned this machine. Um, we should start to get into uh, some more machines that have quite a few more steps um, as we progress through this. This was, once again, just another quick example of using one service to uh, attack a machine. Uh, however, the next machine that we go through will have uh, a couple more steps, so I'll be looking forward to getting into some, uh, some more complex machines as we move forward through this track. Uh, feel free to uh, like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.